Okay, and now we are ready to prepare the HTTP request itself. Let's uh, delete this call to FL function and I will start writing some rest assured code. So to create HTTP request, we start with these uh, function like given. So this is a function with which we start building HTTP request. So given that, and we will need to import this, it doesn't say it, but we can uh, import it this way. So it's um, import static and then IO rest assured, rest assured given. And now given that we have HTTP request, which has a header content type, it's here. And content type is application JSON. Uh, remember in our postman, the content type HTTP header was equal to application JSON. So this one we have provided. Now we need to provide accept header and I will continue building my um, HTTP request. So I'll put dot, but I will start at the new line. Let's make everything on a new line. So given that content type is application JSON and the accept HTTP header is also application JSON and we have body. Let's also do it on the new line. Body of this HTTP request. Let's set it up uh, now at this moment. Next, we will say when HTTP post request is sent and we'll pr provide it by using post to the following path. So the path is equal to context path plus forward slash users. So given that we have a HTTP request, which has a content type application JSON, which accepts application JSON, which has a body at this moment, we are setting up to null when this HTTP request is sent as HTTP post to the following URL. I'll put dot again, then we start uh, providing some assertions. Then we assert that the status code of HTTP response is 200. So I will use status code and I will provide 200. So if user is created and everything went well, then the status code of HTTP response should be 200. And then I will continue providing some assertions. Now, so now is the part when we assert things. Uh, let's say content type as well. Let me copy this one. Then content type is also application JSON. And this has to be a string value. And we can actually extract the entire response object. And then we can work with that response object to validate the response body. And we can convert that response body to a string and then to a JSON and validate every single JSON document key. So uh, to extract the entire response body, I will use extract and then dot response like this. So now when we are extracting the response, we'll need to assign this response to a new object. Response, response equals. So a response equals to the value that we will extract with the response function call. Let's import response. And that needs to go from IO rest assured response. And now we'll have to fix body, which cannot be null. It needs to be JSON payload that represents this content. So here we have JSON payload that contains user details and then list of addresses. So when we write rest assured code, we can use Java objects to create a JSON document and then specify a Java object here. I have prepared a little uh, code snippet, which I'm going to uh, copy and paste here now. So I'll paste it at the top here. So what I'm doing here, uh, I'm creating a, a new hash map and inside of that map object, I'm, this is going to be user details. I'm putting first name, Sergey, last name, my last name, and then email address, password, and then list of addresses, which is also a Java object. And list of addresses in my case is an array which contains map objects. So I'm creating a new array list here. And then 
I'm creating a single address object, which is a hash map. And then I'm putting that address object inside of this user addresses. So my array list at this moment will contain only one address object. And then I'm putting entire user addresses array list into the user details hash map. So what I'm doing here, I'm converting this uh, JSON into a hash map. I first create user details, which is a hash map. And then I create an array list of addresses, which contains a hash map of address details. So let me import my objects that are underlined. I will import uh, array list. And now I will import list. And now I will import hash map. And I will import map. And this is it. And now I will take user details object and I will set it as a body like this. And everything is good with the body now, but I have extract underlined. I think I have a typo here. So no C extract. Yes, now it works. So let me remove this extra space. And we're almost ready to run this unit test. But before we do it, let's uh, use this response object and get at least one value out of it, like, like for example, user ID and assert that that user ID is not now. So we're assuming that this HTTP request when is executed, uh, gets back HTTP response status to 100. This HTTP response will contain content type application JSON and it will have a JSON document which contains at least one key which is user ID and that user ID is not now. So to do that I will add a new line here and I will use a response object and then there is a JSON path function that I can call and that JSON path can be used to get a JSON elements by a key. So I can get a string a value of a key which is called user ID and that will return a string value for a user ID JSON key. So I will assign it to a user ID st string object and now I will assert that user ID is not now. Assert not now and I will use this one for asserting that it is not now. Okay, so we are using response object and then this response object has a function JSON path, which will return a JSON representation of that response body. And from that JSON path, we can get a value of user ID JSON key. So if I switch back to my postman, when we create user, the user details will be returned back. And this JSON document that contains user details will have one more key, which will be the user ID. Okay, so let's finish this video here. And in the following video, we will actually run this integration test, which will send the HTTP request and we will see if it works.